r slash ask reddit. What made you straight up? No pay out of a relationship? Showing up at my door when I hadn't disclosed my address. If you have Snapchat, it shows your exact location on the map unless you opt out of it. It's so creepy. He was violent when angry. Like crazy angry. What did me in was when he sped up on a dark county road and turned off the headlights. We survived. And as soon as we got into town, I got out of the car and relationship. Holy F man. Glad slash hope you're okay. That sounds effing horrifying. She started full on hitting me on day three. Followed me to a night out. Got on his knees stopping traffic in the middle of a city center street to declare his love. We had been on two dates. He also told me that same night he could see into the future and already knew he was going to die defending my honor while I was carrying our twins. Yeah, he was fun. This has got to be an enemy plot. Narrator. Boyfriend San had the power of God and friendship on his side, confessing his undying love to US slash what's her name me 235. She told me she was on birth control. Turns out she thought drinking a lot of Mountain Dew would make it so she couldn't get pregnant. Mountain Dew can for sure be effective birth control. She was just mistaken about how it works. Married for six years. Started out thinking she just struggled with depression and anxiety sometimes. But things kept escalating. I walked away when she started threatening to stab me in my sleep. We'd already tried several couples therapists and individual therapists, but she refused to consider medication. I called her to meet up and try to find some closure, but she cut me off telling me I wasn't allowed to leave her, and as punishment she was sleeping with two other guys. At that point I just ignored her number and filed for divorce. Hope she's doing well, but glad to not be afraid for my life. Not wanting to be stabbed in your sleep equals reasonable boundary. Good decision. She wanted our relationship to be exclusive but secret. Oh boy, thanks for the flashbacks. My ex was in the closet, so in the two years we were together, I know way longer than it should have lasted. I never met his family, most of his friends. He never met mine. We only hanged in my apartment, never officially dated because he wanted me to have a six-pack first, and even when he came out of the closet never mentioned me to his family, broke up with me with a Facebook chat, and then will still try to be with me and get mad if I was with someone else. I'm sorry. I cracked up but wanted me to have a six-pack first. Glad you're out of there. We weren't in a relationship, but I had a developing thing with a guy once, until one day when I wasn't around, he and some other friends of ours went to a bar, and he sneakily slipped stronger alcohol into some other girl's drink there. This girl apparently was talking a lot with one of our other friends and not showing much attention to him, so he got jealous and threw this friend on the floor and started to strangle him. He was obviously thrown out of the bar after that and later tried to play it off as just a jokes and just messing around. How do you jokingly try to strangle someone anyway? Anyway, I dropped this guy out of my life right after I found out. I definitely wouldn't want to be stuck with someone like that. You dodged a potential rapist. Congratulations. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if he had done similar or worse stuff before. Just yikes. Two weeks after my mother died, he asked, is that still bothering you? Similar thing happened to me. My dad died and I didn't want to go to her house and have dinner with her family. Not even a week after because I was sad and she said you're always going to be sad and got mad at me for not going. My most recent ex would always ask me random questions. Like, what would you do if someone came running towards us right now, bearing in mind that's pretty vague? I'd answer something like move out of their way so they can keep running and she'd say wrong answer. Then get mad at me because she meant to attack us and I didn't say I'd jump in her way to defend her. And she used to ask all different sorts of very vague questions and when I'd answer, she'd say wrong answer. And get mad at me for not answering the way she wanted me to. Got out of there as quickly as I could. Sounds like a female Dwight Schrode. Wrong answer. Attacker has a knife. And it's poisoned. She picked me because I had the same first name, general appearance, and lived in the same area of the state as her ex fiance of two years that she had just been dumped by a month before we met. I felt even more offended about all of that than just being straight up rejected. I've unintentionally dated four guys from the same zip code and elementary school. I am not from that zip code. I did not meet these men at that zip code. Two I met in two other separate states five hours away. All four were different ages. Only two knew each other. Three had the same first name and two had the same middle name. This happened over the course of about seven years. Still weirds me out. That pond is just doing so well in producing your favorite type of fish and sending them your way. Got mad when I wouldn't come see her during a hurricane. 
I'm a black person. My bestest buddy in the whole wide world is a white person. We were roomies at one point. He brought a date over, I met her nothing weird. But as it turned out she I had problem with my bromeo living with a black person. Me? He immediately broke it off with her. I don't have many friends, but I'd like to think I got quality over quantity. I love the term bromeo in stealing it. Bromeo and dudie. She wanted to get married after the first date. Ted Mosby would have approved. He's six minutes into the date. He's probably already told her he loves her. He didn't have a car, so I'd help him with rides to work. He worked third shift at Toys R Us stocking shelves. I picked him up one night and he was so drunk he could barely stand. I made some comment about how he isn't going to be able to work. He started throwing crap at me in the parking lot. I threw his crap on the ground and left him there. I've dealt with one too many alcoholics and I wasn't wasting any more of my time. Cut to five years later, he is now sober and getting married this year. So good for him. Well, I like your reaction at the end. Nice to hear from people that cheer others on. She kept waking me up over and over all night trying to have an argument with me. The argument was about me going to sleep. This isn't funny. My ex used sleep deprivation to control me. It's serious abuse if someone won't let you sleep. Eater, thank you for taking this seriously. Your stories break my heart. I hope every one of you are safe or manages to get safe. Eater too. I don't want to hear people joke about their innocent babies being abusive. I've had four babies and they are innocent beings that rely on you to stay alive. Eater three. Yes, cats are jerks. She threw her phone at the wall and stormed out the first time I said no to sex. Just wasn't in the mood. I mean, at least it was her own phone. But Jesus. Mine just cried on the first date because I wouldn't smash. My brother came to visit me. After I spent whole day with my GF, it was time to see my brother because we did not see each other for a long time. We prepared some snacks and about to start Lotra because both of us love Lotra. She called me and started a long conversation on phone. I said my brother waits for me, and she said that I cannot spend my time with anyone because it belongs to her. It was last talk between two of us. It's either me or a random family member being there. It's either me or Lord of the... puts phone down. Not a romantic relationship, but she made me hold the bus driver every morning before school so she could get there on time because she was late to our bus stop every effing day. I asked, why are you always late, lol? And she told me it was none of my business, and then made a post complaining about an unnamed person on the private story that she effing had me added to. We had dinner plans. She didn't show nor pick up her phone all evening. Then she turned up about midnight in her car, hammered and off her tits on gear. I tried to take her keys. She ran out the house. I followed. She drove her car at me. I called her brother to come and pick her up. The next morning I dropped her car and her belongings at her place. Bye. What's gear? Cocaine. She loved it. We went to the mall and stopped by this little kiosk selling cookies. I decided that I would get one cookie. The lady working there said if I buy two, I get one free. I decided to buy two and get the third one free. My date went off on this lady, saying she's trying to scam me, etc. He was legit yelling so loud that it was echoing through the mall. It was so embarrassing. If you're rude to people in customer service, you're not for me. Giving you one free because you bought one more is scamming you. She threw a glass at the wall and full-on banshee shrieked because I said Kristen Stewart looked hot in Charlie's Angels. She was hot indeed. Yep, apparently enough to make the person I mentioned irrationally jealous. It was already on the rocks from roughly around the time the millionth drunken argument happened. However, the moment that sealed it was when she said something to me along the lines of if your dad wanted to be alive, he would still be here. My dad died in a car accident three years before that. Immediately went from loving her enough to make it work to thinking she was the most vile person on earth. My brother took a girl to a high-end sushi place and his date ordered three times the food as he did. He just got a grilled salmon. She ate almost none of it and at the end she said she ordered all the extra so she could take some home for tomorrow. When the waiter showed up for the bill, she excused herself to go to the bathroom. The waiter asked my brother if he wanted to split the check and at that point, my brother did the right thing and stuffed her with $100 worth of sushi and booze. The girl returned to see a huge check at her seat. The true hero here was the waiter. He probably sensed what had happened and came to the rescue, 